Hey everybody, welcome back. Please leave a like so this video is recommended to others and hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing videos just like this. So I got off work and uh, <laughs> this is what I come home to. Which would be cool. But I'm blown and there's nobody here. Maybe Digi, Digi, did you run the bath? Or are you gonna take it? What the? F <laughs> Digi. Dude's ruining the mood. That ghost wants to get romantic, and you're rejecting it. Just let it happen, my guy. Let it happen. It's kind of eerie how close it is to my actual nightmares. Have you heard of the haunted tree in New Jersey? They have a haunted tree? Yeah, so this is considered the number one most haunted place in New Jersey. And apparently it's a cursed tree. And what happened at this tree was apparently there was a farmer that actually his entire family and then he decided to take himself out on the tree and there have been a bunch of people that have like tried to cut this tree down and mess with the tree but all of them have failed because it's cursed what so there was a guy who visited the tree and he decided to pee on the tree as a joke but on his drive home from the tree he actually got into a car accident and then there was another guy that came and he tried to chop the tree down so he got an axe and he started whacking the tree but right when he started whacking the tree his nose just started gushing so then he started freaking out and he just left. But then the town actually had to put like a fence around the tree to protect the tree and to protect people from trying to mess with the tree because there's so many stories of people getting hurt from the tree. It's crazy how many people try to mess with it and they ruin their lives by it. You can see there's like cut marks in it because people are trying to mess with it. Dude, that is the stupidest. You would think the city would just cut the tree down at that point to prevent further tragedies from happening. But I guess there's no adults in New Jersey. That boy look rough. <laughs> this dude straight up has a house on the top of this hill. This homeless dude's living like a king. Look at this. You got a walkway going up to their house they built. That is living like a homeless king right there. You'll probably see it posted on Zillow too, going for half a million. How do we find who might be the psychics? And he looked for folks who were in their jobs longer than they should be because he thought, just as a common sense perspective, if these people are tuned into something extra, it's gonna be the folks who are surviving longer in a shorter life expectancy job because they're making the right choices at the right times to stay alive. And it just so happened that Joe McMonagle, who was remote viewer number one, he had spent 14 years in the field as a operative and he was in a job that the life expectancy was 20 months and he'd spent 14 years in that job. They yanked him in and started interrogating him to ask him to see if he was a double agent and was getting fed information on the other side and when they figured out he wasn't they sent him to stanford research institute for testing where hal putoff and russell targ were developing a program to try to test remote viewers and they sent joe mcmonagle out there and he tested off the charts i wouldn't say psychic some people just have intuition you know what i mean you know that bad feeling you get when you're about to do something stupid or something that you don't know is stupid but you still get a bad feeling i feel like it's that i guess you could call it maybe Maybe common sense too. <laughs> And then he just casually walks away after scaring the crap out of you. I didn't know Kiwis even made sounds. I think I would have definitely ran in the opposite direction if I heard that little demon. I can't decide whether this is genius or stupid. All you are seeing is footage captured on the Qindao Yinchuan Expressway in China, where authorities have installed lasers which are designed to combat drivers getting fatigued and falling asleep at the wheel. I mean, personally, I see that Mario Kart above my head, I'm not looking at the road. But then again, if you do crash, you'll crash awake. So I guess it does bloody work. I know for sure that would distract me. I think it's a stupid idea. What if somebody suffers from like seizures? Wouldn't that trigger it? Yeah. 
Na! Dude, there is no way. Oh, pro tip right there, man. I'll remember that. I gotta start carrying a slice of pizza in my back pocket. Speaking of paranormal sh you did mention 3M. Yeah. And you know how uh, 3M is like devil's, devil's hour. hour. I did hear this superstition. It happened to us before as well. What? Like, remember when we received that random like ring at the door oh yeah, yeah yeah we looked outside and no one was there nobody bro oh, so that's the thing too yeah they say that if you ever hear a random ring at the door to never open the door because you're inviting an evil spirit or a spirit inside your crib i'm just not opening it in general like that even if it's a spirit or if it's a regular person it's also kind of creepy bro because i do remember we opened the door and stuff yeah like and just recently we had ordered uber eats right yeah this is real I'm not making this up. The Uber Eats guy literally looks at the house and is like, you guys have ghosts here, right? The f*** do you mean? He's like, my mom died when I was younger here. Why the f*** would you say that? My brother was like, what the f***? Why, why do you say that? That probably explains all the f***ing weird stuff that you guys heard. So it kind of makes sense, actually. Now it's even creepier, bro. Everything yeah. everything that we talk about, everything is shot. Hopefully my ring doorbell be going off at random times of the night, too. But I never open the door. You can just check the app, dude. On today's episode of what the heck is happening to this world, we got this video that is going viral on the internet. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What? Bro. Oh, what about the homeless people too, man? That sucks for them. Because if you live there, you don't have a choice but to breathe that in. Boy looks scared. What did he see? It's a 24 pack of Coke a day. Hey, you drink 24 Cokes a day? <laughs> wow, that's, hey, hey, you getting tired now? No, he doesn't get tired because he's a bus boy at night. No way. He busts tables at night? Oh, man, what an animal. Huh? Hey, you work another job after this? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane! Yo. That's sad, dude. My boy is drinking straight poison. I feel like one day we're gonna look back and look at Coca-Cola the way we look at cigarettes now. This is what our parents warned us about. It's terrifying to think that a real human actually went through this. Angela Hammond was a mother from Clinton, Missouri, and in 1991, she was at a grocery store. And you know, back then, the general public didn't have cell phones, so she went to the payphone to call her fiancé, Rob. Rob says the conversation was going normal, but then Angela had said that there was this weird car that kept circling her and, like, driving around. So Rob, doing what any normal boyfriend, fiancé, husband would do, was like get out of there, just go home, we'll talk later. So I guess that Angela thought that he had left and so they continued talking, but then Angela says he came back. Then he hears her say something that I'm sure will haunt him for the rest of his life. She says, oh my God, what am I gonna do? He then hears Angela scream and then he hears silence. So Rob panicked, not knowing what to do. He knows he could call the cops, but it may be too late. He hops in his car and drives across town to go find Angela. So while on his way there, he hears someone screaming his name from a car going the opposite direction. So Rob hits a U-turn. He sees a pickup truck and in a terrible twist of fate, Rob chasing down this car when his transmission goes out and Angela is never seen or heard from again. Rob sounds like a suspect to me, man. He didn't call the cops immediately. Why wouldn't you? He's definitely a suspect. There's no way. You guys will not believe what I found out about the Chinese bio lab discovered in Central California. Let's jump into this. Public Health asked the county to keep some key details from the public, even as people were growing suspicious over what was going on. We knew as, as soon as we came in there wearing these big uh, suits, uh, the personal protective equipment, cleaning out the site, residents are going to be looking around going, what's going on? And that's exactly what happened. But again, CDPH made clear, do not explain what's taking place at this site. 
And these emails are proof. As early as April 28th, the county tried to revise an initial statement from the state to include the address of the illegal lab in Reedley and explain why staff would be wearing personal protective equipment. The following Monday, the Deputy Director of Communications for the Department of Public Health wrote, We suggest you not point to the specific address and not mention PPE or law enforcement at this time, as we believe it could unnecessarily cause concern and questions. We asked them, how can we engage with the public? And those emails show the California Department of Public Health really wanted us to be limited in what we said to the public, and we followed that direction. So what they're talking about in the last clip is that California and government officials knew about this Chinese secret bio lab located in Central California, but they did not want the public to know about it. Seems kind of sketchy, right? Let's continue. But let's pump our brakes real quick. Before I show you guys how bad it really is, this place is still under investigation and it's still pending. There's still a lot going on with this place. Let's continue. Right, and what can you tell us more about their private funding? Obviously we went over that they, they did get some money from, from our government, obviously the taxpayers, but what can you tell us? What do you know about the connections to China, the funding? Is there anything you can disclose? Well, I can disclose it because when we filed court documents, uh, those all became public documents. So I can let you know that I received an email from a gentleman purporting to be the lab CEO who was in China telling me he can't get a visa to come over and meet with me about the situation. Anybody that we have uh, met with on the site um, has shown us documents that, um, you know, Chinese nationals with U.S. documents. So I don't know exactly where all their funding has come from. Uh, but I can tell you that it is a completely privately funded lab. We know that because there was no public funding associated with it, which means they did not have to adhere to the same standards that publicly funded labs have to adhere to. Now, obviously, what we had in Reedley was even worse. It was the house of horrors. Um, these are bad actors that came to Reedley literally under the cover of night, never came for a city building permit, never came for a license. Uh, they were operating at night. We would, you know, we had some undercover officers watching people in lab coats going in and out at night. They didn't want us to know they were here in Reedley. You see, the thing about this case is that it gets way worse. If you want to learn more about this situation, please like, comment, and share. Thank you. Dude, 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 dude. I've been wondering about this. I hadn't seen any updates. They're selling us out, man. They are selling us out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I be acting when I don't get my way. I'm a jerk. You take that poor guy on a car ride immediately. This is the definition of hidden in plain sight. Hi, I'm Pete Davidson, and I will be hosting the season premiere of SNL with Ice Spice. Ooh, look at us, three Gen Z icons. Aren't you like 40? No, no. A long time ago, I met this guy and made a deal where I get to stay 25 years old for forever. What guy? Tall fella, horns, red fur, I don't know, little hooves. Keen, that's the devil, dude. What? <laughs> I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. For real though, why do my boy look 25? Dude looks younger than I am. There's this feature on your phones that if you zoom in on like the moon at night, it will show a clear image of the moon. Like, whole zoom in and get every single detail, right? Mm. It's all fake. So they did a test. They took a fake moon, put it in their house, turned off all the lights, pretended it was the moon uh -huh. and zoomed in <laughs> and it created the moon <laughs> it literally created all the details of the moon fab it was fake i was just arguing with somebody about this and here's the proof now that i was right what is this what is this did you do this oh no did you do this did you dig in the trash Oh my god. 
out of the eyes, dude. <laughs> Maybe he was signaling who actually did it. He kept looking at the person holding the camera. Maybe it was them. I'm about to give you the news before it's news. Your winter at times may uh, suck incredibly. And not just because of seasonal depression or it's d it's dark at five o'clock. It's so stupid. But specifically today, I'm talking about how thousands upon thousands of people in the U.S. are currently at risk of losing power this winter. And we got to talk about it. Because over the summer, we spent a lot of time talking about Texas and how their power grid couldn't handle the heat. But now the power problems, they go beyond Texas, stretching all the way up to even the Canadian border. And according to a new report from the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, an expansive part of the power grid stretching across the U.S. is not adequately prepared for harsh winter conditions. And while this problem is not limited to just one area of the U.S., the NERC warned that Texas is at a higher risk of energy shortages this year compared to last year because it's not bringing in enough power to meet growing demand. Right, So that's on top of their existing infrastructure not being weatherized to handle the coming winter. And as far as the broader problem, the report went on to say that the regional grid serving 15 states from Arkansas to Wyoming, it'll be operating with significantly lower backup energy reserves this year. And there, like in Texas, we can thank increasing energy demand for that along with power plants going offline. And one of the big key things here is while there are likely enough resources to make it through a normal winter, in the case of a bad storm or prolonged cold snaps, there could be what the NERC calls energy emergencies or blackouts. So follow to stay in the loop. <sighs> Why do they keep screwing us? We have nothing and they still want to take from us. I wish they would just fix the grid, damn it. He really thought that little piece of wood was gonna hold him. Why are you discriminating against my boy? He probably just wanted to buy honey. That's a funny gag. <laughs> they knew for sure somebody was in a touch. Celebrities that openly practice voodoo and witchcraft part two. Today we have Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Kardashian. Okay, this is either really cool or a little strange, but that's who you're doing business with, right? So. <gasps> what is this? That is Marilyn's hair. So. <laughs> so. You can clone her. <laughs> so, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my God, I'm literally going to do some crazy voodoo shit that I like. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I channel her. Oh, this Incredible. is so special so to me. You. Thank you so it's much. <gasps> this is so cool. So cool. Good vibes. Wow. This is sleeping with me every night. I feel like this clip was taken out of context, but it's still really weird. Who gives someone hair? Yes, <laughs> А ты не увидишь в углу? Damn, they call the cops when they should have called an exorcist. I hate it when the clips cut way too short like that. It's kind of annoying. I have a cousin who is paranoid schizophrenic, all right? And I would go visit him from time to time. And he's watching TV with the volume all the way down and the radio up. And I'm telling you, it started to f make sense. I was like, I gotta get the out of here. I gotta get out of here, Gary. Well, a, I am out of here on this. There's a disease when people are around schizophrenics for too long, they develop schizophrenia themselves. God, I want to say it's called allophrenia. So someone will come, like family member will come visit you and they will get diagnosed and they will get admitted themselves. Whoa, that's crazy. I had heard of that before, that it's contagious somehow, which is really weird. I wonder if that happens to the nurses that have to treat these people.
The first comment says Father Biscuit. <laughs> that is freaking hilarious, dude. Hey, seriously, is this safe? 50-50. 50-50, what, like 50% we live, 50% we die? 50-50. <laughs> what? That sound clip works for so many scenarios. That is crazy, dude. They're like three feet from that thing. And I think it's blind from one eye. <laughs> Whose grandma is this? Jesus, man. Dude, she literally had an oxygen line around her nose. Ah, uh, some people never learn. Please take her vape away, if this is your grandma. I don't think she can take any more, man. <laughs> Many of you have asked me to take a look at this footage again because you say I missed something when I first showed it. And holy cow, you were right. Remember, this woman was out for a run when this van followed her and then stopped right in front of her. But when you zoom in, you see just how serious this man was. Mm. As you can tell through the window, he was ready. Yeah. This van rode by me when I was on my drive, or I'm sorry, when I was on my run. And there they go speeding off. They went around the block, came up on me with the door open, with the side door open. I jumped this ditch and they stopped right there. This happened in Maryland, so please be careful. Dude, that is scary. I hope she ran the plates too, because it seems like she got a pretty good shot of the plates. Report that to the police. In broad daylight too. Underwater earthquake. Dude, that looks insane. I think the sound alone of that would probably send me into a panic if I was down there. That was a deep rumble, dude. Oh look, here's that video of San Francisco being cleaned up all of a sudden. Here we are, downtown San Francisco. And as you can see, they got it blocked off. I'm not a big fan of these barricades. It's sad our country's not safe enough. Sad they got to put up barricades. Can only imagine how the academy are. It's because Xi Jinping is coming. We can't have a mess at home if the dictator of China has to come by. I mean, president. A flying sofa? I gotta see this. Oh, 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 Damn, dude. Imagine you're going for a walk and then you just get hit by a sofa. A freaking couch falls out of the sky and they have to write that in your obituary. Bro. That is a full on line. It's massive. It's almost the size of the cars. Oh my god. Oh, somebody better get their dog. Bro, those people better put their dogs away. Somebody's pet's gonna become dinner. My boy is on the prowl. Can, can you show me that again, please? Can you show me that again, your heart? Holy Not warning, I'll give him Colorado and I have to go for uh, probation, sir. I will not like you. Dude. 
<laughs> that is not normal, man. Does this dude need to go to a hospital? Let me see if maybe the comments say anything. Probably a defect in that location. It's a thing we see in the ER more than a few times. This is no surprise to medical workers. Wait, so this is like a birth defect maybe? That's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome and I appreciate you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.